All right, guys, so front squat. Another huge aspect of any functional fitness training, and the reason isn't because front squatting itself is something that we test in a separate entity all the time, but that front squat's gonna correlate over to our clean and jerk, our ability to thrust the barbell, the front squat itself, and then even thinking about building up a resiliency or a, uh, I would say a bank of strength for when we do the split jerk in the clean and the jerk. So of course it's gonna help you stand up the heavy clean, but building up resiliency here, building up stamina, and building up a big, big front squat, it's gonna give you the ability to smoke that jerk after you stand up a challenging lift. So we're hitting up some front squats. So, so today with the front squat I already hit on, you guys know the importance of the movement in itself. What Mitch and I are doing, and this is taking place after we've already worked some, uh, several shoulder overhead, a, a few complexes, um, we're gonna essentially build to a relative heavy of a three count pause front squat into two regular tempo front squats. Now the rationale behind that pause and the opener rep is to ensure that we're establishing a great bar path. We want the load of the barbell to stay right about the middle of a foot throughout the execution of the front squat. This is hard for athletes with longer legs, people with longer limbs, shorter torsos, because of the fact that your butt has to go pretty far back to reach that below parallel position. Essentially, when something goes back, something has to come forward, right? So a lot of times it's the load or our torso or our trunk or our elbows dropping. I always have to be conscious of that and always am refining that. So that's why we've got the pause in the bottom of rep one. And then of course, we're just building out the other two reps to build consistency there and moving at our normal tempo or normal speed. So check it out. All right guys, so here's the deal. We want to refine the technical aspects of our front squat. We can do this under load and under duress if you do it wisely. So today, the theme was move well, challenge the load. Once we felt like there was some kind of response or feedback to higher stress versus more focus on technical aspect, we drop back down the load, we're wrapping up with a few more sets here at 275. What Mitch and I did was essentially one full range of motion front squat, sit in the bottom three full seconds, stand it up, two extra front squat reps at our normal perceived tempo, right? We built to a heavy in that and now we're gonna finish up with two to three drop sets at a lower weight. The goal is for you to get warm. As you squat each and every rep, focus on staying rooted through your heels. More importantly, think about driving through the middle of your foot. If you can film yourself from the side, if you have a training partner that can watch you, the, the intent is to make sure that the path of that barbell, so from a side perspective, right where that, whatever it says on the mode or the, the brand of barbell that you use, that should look like it's gonna come straight down the middle of your foot. We want it to go down there and up there. That is the most efficient way for that bar path to travel. It's gonna make that weight feel as light as it can to help you get the best results possible. So get some front squatting done, tag us in the workouts. Hey, tag me in the workouts and I'll give you some coaching feedback. That's what I'm here for. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth double as a freeze, but the grills.